Well, we're off to a good start. I'm starting a 1,000 mile trip and uh, this is my nav six. Five oh six AM seventeen thousand one ninety seven. Oh boy. Been on the bike about forty five minutes now. We're in very, very thick fog. I mean I'm sure someone in England is like that's not fog. <laughs> but uh that's fog. Uh so yeah. I usually do about seventy on the interstate, but um I'm cruise controlling at seventy five, so you know, since there's since this is a pretty flat, straight road and um, there's no traffic yet, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of you know get ahead of schedule. So in the event that on the um, the cross highways that go from Vermont to Maine that are gonna be full of uh, leaf peeping tourists, I can um, if I lose some time, it's fine. All right. Broken now. It's gonna work. Stopped working. All right, we just got our. Um, hey guys, <laughs> we just got our um, first, well, second fill up at uh, I don't know, 200, no, 130 miles. I, I didn't really need gas, but they kind of mentioned that you know you should get a receipt at every corner, and Swan, Vermont, was my northwest corner, and so um, yeah, I got gas. Didn't need it, but I got some anyway. Uh, oh, that battery's almost dead, huh? Um, so now we're heading south again for about 10 miles. Then we start heading west towards Bangor. So uh, yeah, there's St. Albans, we're north of St. Albans. And uh, trip continues. I'm so glad I brought the hippo hands, by the way. That's so nice. Sorry, I had to go to this covered bridge back here. I don't know if it's safe to pass. It's just this old, <laughs> it's this old forgotten covered bridge. Look at this. <laughs> it's even lower than it needs to be. I'm on someone's farm now. <laughs> so things that, you know, really eat into your iron butt ride. Don't drive the bike, it's sweat grass. It really eats into your iron butt ride, but come on, if you can't enjoy the little things. Hey, I got a picture of this shit. This is the kind of stuff that'll cause me to get home at like midnight though. Uh, we've just passed 200 miles, so we're at 204 or 205. Um, it's uh, 8.45 a.m. We're actually passing through um, uh, West Glover, Vermont, which is a, a favorite jaunt of mine for coming up here and riding around off road. So we're on road today though. Oh. Just saw my first sign for Bangor, Maine. We're uh, 244 miles in now. Oh, we're crossing New Hampshire from Vermont. So we've been in Vermont pretty much all day. Um, and we'll be back in Vermont tonight on our way home from Springfield up north to Vermont. So this is our only New Hampshire portion of the day until I'm about a mile from my house. Holy crap. There are a lot of people up here. For dead trees. For the record, yeah, I, I mentioned on Adventure Rider, I'll take it this I, IVR uh, or IVA ride. And, um, you know, being good for leaf peeping. I don't really give a shit about the leaves, but I see it every year. I look out my front window across the lake and it's all orange and I'm like, oh, got to start snow blowing soon. <laughs> that's, that's what I think about. And uh, man, I mean, everyone appears from out of state. All right, we're in Maine. <laughs> so we're 280 miles in, five and hours and 12 minutes. And we have, uh, we've hit Maine. Alright, 
So we're uh, in Rumner Rumford Falls. I've been through here before once. Um, and downtown Rumford is indeed an island. So you got these uh this awesome waterfall over here, waterfall over there. And I would have blunked this red light personally speaking, but yeah, it's all wood pulp. It smells great. So now we're in Mexico. I'm a little hungry. Three hundred forty miles, six and a half hours. This is actually the first vista that I've had all day. There were plenty of vistas this morning, but it was too dark. And so this is my first like, hey, look at all the trees, guys, vista. <laughs> all right, Bangor, we made it. Whew. All right, so uh, we are leaving Bangor now heading south so what happened when I came out of that um I came out of a little bit of a, a, a you know wooded adventure across New Hampshire across Maine and I came out to the area that I actually had to go 26 miles north uh, after that in order to uh, go to Bangor so um, now I'm backtracking down again following this Minuteman 1000 route here uh, now I'm backtracking down um, and basically, I'm staying on I-95 all the way to my destination in Rhode Island. I think I go I go around Boston, though. So uh, the route that goes around Boston adds 22 miles, which is a part of the Minuteman, but it adds no time because of all the Boston traffic and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I'm on this road for four and a half hours or 322 miles, and. Uh, Gonna listen to some more podcasts here, but that's this is pretty much my life for the next four and a half hours. So I probably won't do much video, and we'll probably end up stopping for gas uh, before Boston. I do need to stop for gas in Mass though, in order to get my Minuteman pass. Two ninety five South, ninety five South. Look at that. We were definitely past the. Uh, the halfway point, which is nice, but the, you know, over 500 miles. No complaints, though. I know they're probably thinking, "What the hell is this guy doing with these hand things?" But they only knew it was 38 degrees this morning when I left the house. <laughs> So uh, we were in Kittery, Maine just now. There's a naval yard over here on the left. My friend works. Ooh, that sport bike looked rough on that bump. It was like, whoa, <laughs> no suspension travel. But yeah, we're in New Hampshire now. Left New Hampshire this morning and we're back. And, uh, ooh. We're on the very tippy southeast corner of, uh, of New Hampshire. Uh, we'll be in Massachusetts pretty damn fast, like 20 minutes or so. We're uh, East Greenwich, Rhode Island is where we are. You know, I'm sorry that I didn't get you a Providence, Rhode Island drive-by, but uh, the GoPro wouldn't turn on. And uh, even though it had 93% battery, I don't know what happened. I just restarted it. But I stopped to get some gas. Well, I stopped to get a receipt. And not gas, but a receipt to show that I went through here. And the guy wouldn't take my money for the uh, for the, the little buffalo chicken wrap. He's like, ah, I don't worry about it. It's old. Yeah, but I need a receipt. He's like, do you want to pay for it? I said, well, not really. He goes, oh, well then, <laughs> go away. Ah, shit.
Yep. So. This was one of the points that if you did the Minuteman ride, uh, this was one of the points you had to stop to get a gas receipt. But. Uh, I don't think I need one. So, we'll see. Alright, we're in Connecticut. Thank you, Ned Lamont. Lamont? 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 Lamont. Alright, we're finally about to cut over to I-91 North, which is literally our home stretch. I-91 North toward Hartford. Because it is a major transfer show that the, uh, the iron butt people I didn't cut any corners and then um, what's up dude and then uh, get back on the road again we're almost there guys we're almost there we're in uh, New North Haven Connecticut We've got 186 miles to go, and I think I only need 160 to finish my route, so, wow. All right, we're making good time. 8.44, I need to get gas to get my, uh, my proof of visitation. And now we are about to head through Hartford. Um, so I'll probably get some food in Springfield. And then we're, uh, Next stop, Vermont. All right, well, we are uh, in Springfield, Massachusetts. And I think I'm going to Boland Way. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm getting some food of some sort. Oh, sweet, I can go in. Oh, that's fantastic news. Fantastic news. It's a Pizza Hut and a Taco Bell all in one tent. Perfect, let's go there instead. Sorry, Taco Bell, I'm going to Chipotle instead. Take a video clip when I stop for a photo of my uh, the timestamp of my dinner. Best seat in the house. Look at that. I actually feel great. Uh, my ass is a little sore. Lower back sore. But I'll be fine. See you guys uh, in a few minutes. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo. Walking to Vermont, motherfuckers! <laughs> Get my last receipt of the night. Eleven twenty p.m. So, uh, for gas fill up was at five oh five a.m. Finish will be about 11.30. All right, <laughs> oh, guys. 1,021 miles. Oh, <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh my god. Alright, I'm not gonna go on too much longer. I just wanted to at least give you guys a, a final count. 1,021 miles. Man. 
I, you know, I don't know how those guys do those 1500 mile butt burner golds, 1500 miles in 24 hours. That is, um, that's a new, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's an iron butt right there. 1500 miles. I could do a butt burner, 1500 miles in 36 hours. I, I could get up tomorrow. I've got until 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'm not going to, but I could, in, in my current state, get up tomorrow and do another 500 miles. Um, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm satisfied.